Hey folks, I'm gonna tell you how a method I use to get rid of the horrible smell of plastic and products that, especially lately, have been coming out and they're really strong and they don't go away unless you get rid of them. So here we go. We've got two methods here and I think you'll like them. This first method here is, is easy to use. Uh, all you have to do is have a hot bowl of water, add a little Dawn to it, and then just rub your product down like I did this cat carrier because it was really toxic smelling inside. And I wanted to get it cleaned up for my granddaughter there because she carries her cat around. And uh, I wiped the insides with the hot soapy water first, the Dawn, I put Dawn in there. And right here, you'll see the Dawn, Dawn. That's hot water. I got it out of the uh, coffee pot hot water kettle. Okay, and uh, just uh, take it with your rag. Be careful, it might be hot, so just take your time and rub it all the way down inside and out and on the plexi and inside and out, everywhere around. And then after that, let it air dry and then go after it with the uh, vinegar, okay? Put some vinegar, spray it on a rag and rub it all inside. Now be careful of the plexiglass because you can cause stainage because it is acidic. So you want to get it on there and on the plexiglass for sure. Don't leave it on there more than three to five minutes, okay? But if it's like a big container like this one here, you could let you know the soap and the water just air dry and then come back later and spray it with the vinegar and let that sit for all day and let it air dry. And once it's dry, you should not have a smell. Now, if you still have a smell in this type of container for the cat carrier, you need to do the process again because you don't want to scratch it up with the baking soda. But for this container, it really doesn't matter if you scratch up the insides too much with the baking soda because it's really not going to be visible. And, you, you know, I really don't care about it, but it's up to you. Or you can go and use that method again, the first method. But let's go to the second method here and see how that's done. I also wanted to state on the vinegar, this is uh, white vinegar, a uh, half mix of water and half mix of vinegar, white vinegar. So that's make sure you know that for the spray bottle there. And uh, that's pretty easy to know. It is half and half and you're done. That's my all purpose uh, spray bottle for everything I clean. So let's get on to the second method here, which is the baking soda. Okay, it's just standard baking soda, Arm & Hammer from uh, Costco. And uh, you get a bowl like this and put a good handful in there and add some of your hot kettle water, just like this here, okay? It's just hot water. And you're gonna mix it up and make a paste, just like that. Just make a paste, okay? And you can ply it with a paper towel or a rag, either or, you know, whichever way you wanna go with that. There it is, it's nice and mixed up. Looks good to me. Okay, then you're gonna take your paper towel, dip it in there, and you're gonna start rubbing it all over these walls of this container. Okay, so we're just gonna go up and down on these walls here and the floors. We're just gonna get it everywhere. Okay, just take your time, wipe it all up, because this sucker will keep on stinking. If it's that bad, you need to wipe it down good, okay? And you'll just continue and go all through the walls and everything with just your mix here. Just dab it, grab it, slab it, okay? Put it on there and you're good to go. Yeah, put it all over there. And then you're gonna let this sit for at least a day or two, okay? With this all over the walls, everywhere here, all over the walls, because it's gonna have to absorb this horrible smell that some of these containers have. And uh, it should take it completely out and it'll be real nice and clean and you'll be able to use it. It won't stink up your clothes. And also, a little tip here, if you can get a bag of charcoal, just go around in all your containers in the garage or up in your attic or whatever, and just throw a piece of charcoal in there. Just throw a piece of charcoal in each one. And I tell you what, that will absorb smell and keep it from getting on your clothes or items that are stored in there. So, a little tip there also, a little extra. But that's it, folks. There's two ways. There's the soap and vinegar, and then there's the baking soda paste. And just rub it all over it. All right, folks, good luck, God bless, and it works for me. Oh, I forgot to add one more thing, folks. Use a, a rag after this all dries, the baking soda. Just use a dry rag, tilt the tub a little or whatever you're cleaning that's plastic, and just wipe it off. The baking soda will just wipe off like dust, okay? And that's it. So once again, good luck, God bless, and it works for me.